Hey there, viewers. I thought I'd just horse around in the Skullgirls beta. They got a few neat new things here. Big Band! Back on the beat. Yeah, they've made a lot of progress with Big Band. Hopefully he'll be released in the in the main game soon. Got some very neat uh, costumes there. Even King DDD. <laughs> that I thought was pretty funny. A couple others I recognize. One looks like Dick Tracy. The other looks like Inspector Gadget. I feel I should recognize a few of these. That one looks like Mega Duck. I thought for this, I'm gonna go DLC team. Ready? Tally -ho. And I still need to release my my part in the main LP of Squiggly's storyline. I just haven't gotten around to comment. I haven't recorded. I just haven't gotten around to commentating on it yet. And in true seeker character fashion. Fukua. Here we come. Yeah, Fuku is back. She's she's been moved to the beta now. And they seem to be doing a nice job fleshing her out to make them make her a lot more unique character. One truth prevails. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Saxima! Back on the I do. Jimmy General! So yeah, Big Band is pretty uh He's pretty awesome, I gotta say. I wasn't sure at first how he was gonna play. I normally don't. I normally don't like playing as the big guys in fighting games because they're usually very slow and and basically any any fast character can just mop the floor with a piece of wood. But I like his level two special there. This sure takes me back. Oh, that is awesome. This I like this. This is probably my favorite stage, anyways. And now I like the new star. Look, they have it. I like how uh, Fukua has Mishujo Sparkles now. That's new. That that upward drill kick. That's pretty awesome. I haven't gotten into Squiggly's playstyle much. I'll probably be doing that more when I when I do my actual segment on her storyline. But I like her a lot too.
full extent of the jam. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! <laughs> what if Big Bear moves? He just pulls out a, a trumpet and starts playing it, which is a really weird move. Um, as far as I can tell, it doesn't really do anything. You just basically just play the trumpet with all the face buttons as the notes. Of course, it kind of leaves you open. Yeah, I, re I really like that move with Squiggly said. Um, Silver Cord. Which, which is pretty much just pretty much Scorpion's trademark move for Mortal Kombat. Leviathan will even yell, get over here sometimes. And I love that level 1 super first. It's sort of a... It works basically like a grab, but... Buries him and drops a coffin on him. That was pretty cool. Damn! 
being a beast right now. Let's give a big hand for Big Bang. Player one wins. I'm all there is of the most real. Ladies and gentlemen, it's stage showtime. <laughs> As we expected, love that wailing sax in the background. Been through Still get solo Philly a lot for for arcade mode. Sometimes the game put me up against her two or three times in one playthrough. It's mostly just annoying at times because I'm not sure if I mentioned this last time, but she really likes to to turn what thing back. Seen so much of it this time, though. Now you're playing with power. I'm all there is of the most real. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. <laughs> 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 Requesting backup. Uh, that's the second time Double's done that now. So I'm gonna bring another character out. She, of course, Double likes to do that anyway. She'll do that, do that projectile move, and then if it hits you, chain right into that, to that special. Oh, that won't do. Bad. 
Fighting Marie with Big Band is it's gonna be dicey, I think, because as you can see, Big Band's a big target to hit, so it's very easy for her projectile spamming there. So he does at least have a few moves that might have a chance of keeping her stuck on. Wiggly does a good job against her just spamming that. That's all then. Um, hopefully we'll be seeing Big Band in the main game soon. Uh, see you next time, folks.